The geriatric assessment is really a tool that we use as a standardized way to assess health status in older adults. Um, it, Historically, in clinical trials and in actually judgments of treatment allocation, um, we as oncologists use age and comorbidity, chronologic age and comorbidity, and performance status. And what we know now is that those constructs or characteristics are not um, the most effective way to identify patients at highest risk of poor outcomes. Um, there is ro a robust level of evidence now that shows that geriatric assessment can help us as oncologists identify patients that are at the highest risk of adverse outcomes, things like toxicity from treatment, hospitalizations, mortality, functional decline. And, and that robust data is presented in a recent ASCO guidelines that was just uh, published a few weeks ago. Having said that, you know, what I was interested in is what patients and caregivers um, tell me in the clinic all the time. So my practice in the University of Rochester focuses on patients age 70 and over, most of whom have other medical conditions other than cancer, um, comorbidity, disability, um, that would make them unlikely candidates for therapeutic clinical trials. Yet, they're, they're often their life expectancy is long enough to warrant cancer treatment, and we have limited data for those patients. Community Community oncologists also see these patients commonly. Our population is aging, and community oncologists see these patients. So when I'm in the clinic, patients ask me about their memory and about, you know, because this is what I talk about as a geriatrician. And so that kind of stimulated this interest in, you know, how can we improve conversations about things that older patients and caregivers really care about, and how can we use the geriatric assessment to do that. Um, our study is funded by the Patient-Centered Outcomes Research Institute as well as the NCI, and they um, help, they really um, guide to ask us to work with patients to identify our outcomes. So when we worked with patients in our pilot studies, patients told us this is what we care about. We care about communication. And so that ended up being the primary outcome for this study.